Good morning everyone, uh, if you're a new viewer, welcome, if you're a returning viewer, thank you for coming back. I am Mimi and I'm with my sister in the car, we're Don't going to get... The camera. <laughs> Don't put me on the camera. She's on the camera. And I know what you're going to ask, are we twins? Um, no we are not, unfortunately for her, I'm fat. <laughs> so we are just on our way to go get our morning coffee, we're meeting our mum up at the cafe with the dogs. I don't know about you guys, but I live for my morning coffee. Absolutely can't start the day without it. What are you guys up to this morning? What are you doing? How are you? I hope you're having a coffee somewhere, enjoying yourself. When I get back home, we're gonna dive straight into today's topic, which is how you see your world and why. So I'll see you guys soon. This past week has honestly been so tumultuous, I can't even tell you. It's had some serious highs and some serious lows. And I, quite frankly, to be honest, feel exhausted. But at the same time, it's kind of perfect because it's really good for what's happened in my week is really good to lead straight into the topic for this week, which is how you see the world and why. So this week I have been thrown completely out of my routine, out of my comfort zone. I've had things happen in my personal life that were challenging and hard and maybe sad. And then I've had things such as launching my first video last week, which was amazing. And for those of you who came to watch my first video and showed your support, thank you so much because I put a lot of hard work into it and it was a big deal for me and to have the support and feedback that I did get from you was so amazing and just meant a lot. So thank you. If you're new, welcome. Thanks for stopping by. Okay. So yeah, like I was saying, the YouTube release was very exciting. Had a great day. And then that night, I uh, got my bag stolen on the bus. So, you know, you go up and then you come back down, uh, but that's okay. So lots was going on outside of me that seemed to be causing my emotions. So whether I was feeling sad, whether I was feeling completely elated and happy and excited. Do you ever feel that you are at the effect of your circumstances or what's going on around you, outside of you? or that you're constantly at the effect of your emotions. Mm -hmm. We've all been there, right? We're human. We tend to fall into a victim mindset and we feel like everything outside of us controls how we feel and controls our internal world. Things happen all the time, every single day that are outside of our control. But the good news is, is that what we can control is the thoughts that we have about what happens, about what goes on in our life. Every feeling or emotion we ever experience is caused first and foremost by a thought. So to give you a quick example, if I told you right now that your dog just died unexpectedly, 
If you think about that for a moment, how you feel, probably very sad, heartbroken, devastated, okay? I know that's a very solemn example, but it's not the actual act of your dog dying, it's the fact that you just had a thought about it. Let's say for example, that happened and you didn't know for a week. You wouldn't be experiencing the emotion that you might, you might be feeling right now after you just had that thought. Or let's take another example. If I just told you that you have just won $5 million. Oh my God, how exciting. How do you feel? You just won $5 million. Literally, go check your bank account. You got 5 million in there. <laughs> so if you experience that, you're probably gonna be feeling super excited. Just like your whole world is about to change. Okay, so these are some very basic examples, but I hope you can see from that that whenever there's a situation, it is the thought you have about it that is gonna determine how you feel. This is really good news. And when I learned this, it changed everything for me because no matter what goes on in your life or outside of you, you are the one that gets to determine how you feel. You get to choose how you see the world. Let's take another example to compare the situation. You've got two people. Both of these people were bullied in high school. Now, the first person is going to fall into a victim mentality and think that they were treated unfairly, they were singled out, they're gonna let it affect every other situation for the rest of their life, maybe social situations, they're not gonna let people in, they might um, turn people away or push people away and maybe end up a very lonely, sad individual. Then you have the other person who got bullied in high school and they see this as something very valuable. So this experience has made them stronger. It has shown them how they would never treat other people. And it's an adversity that they've gone through as a young person that is gonna strengthen their character and actually help them throughout the rest of their life when they do you know, come up against more challenges because that is inevitable, that is life, it's full of challenges. So you have two people, two circumstances, and let's just say they're the same individual, and the way you choose to see it is going to have a ripple effect in the rest of your life. I actually used to fall into this, uh, to the first mentality a lot. So feeling like a victim or feeling sorry for myself and blaming my circumstances, blaming other people for how I felt. And you know, I'm not saying I don't do that ever anymore. Of course I do, I am human. But the fact that I now know that I don't have to let those things control how I feel has given me so much power and control in my life to live life the way I want to live it. And to now, I know this might feel like a lot of information, but here's how you can start to step out of the negative victim mentality and step into the other situation where you get to choose your thoughts and create whatever emotion it is that you want to be feeling in your day-to-day -day life. Throughout the week, most likely you are going to get to a situation where all of a sudden you don't feel so good. Now you might feel uncomfortable, scared, panicked, nervous, whatever the feeling is and whatever the situation is. So for example, it could be a social situation. That actually used to be a big one for me. Uh, it could be around food and when you're about to eat or deciding what you're gonna eat for the day. It could be when you plan to do that, that workout and your alarm goes off and you need to get out of bed to do it and you hesitate. <laughs> Or it could be going home at the end of the day and dealing with your family. Maybe that's a tough situation for you. When these situations arise, what I want you to do is pause and ask yourself the question, what am I thinking right now? Then grab your phone, open the notes on your phone and start writing. It is amazing what comes out when you really take the time to actually look inside your mind and see, you know, what, what am I actually telling myself? What am I believing without really knowing? You'll be shocked at what comes out. You might be even a little bit disgusted. It's amazing. But the, the great thing about this process is that when you write the thoughts down and you look at them in front of you and you read them, you actually separate yourself and you will instantly start to feel better because you realize that these things that I'm telling myself they're not 
actually me. It's just a sentence in my mind that I'm creating that perhaps I've been telling myself my whole life. So give it a go and write the thoughts down. You don't have to tell anyone you're doing it, just keep it to yourself. Just to start to create consciousness and awareness, that is the first step to changing everything, okay? So give it a go, let me know how you go, and I can't wait to, yeah, I can't wait to hear how it helps you. And next week, I'm gonna be showing you how I started to change my thoughts and how I think on purpose, to live a life of purpose and to take control, not let other people or circumstances dictate my life. Have a beautiful week, guys. I'll see you soon. Bye.